Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Flagar here with another fictional story called Hughley's Snow Day. Let's find out what Hughley is up to on this very snowy day. Hugh Hughley hurried into the secret slime pit. Hey Booter, Grubble, come quick, he cried. Something is wrong with the people world. What is it? asked Booter. It's gone, said Hughley. The people world is gone. This is not a good time for jokes, said Grubble. We're busy trying to figure out why the slime pit is as hard as a rock. Maybe it's hard because it's so cold in here, said Booter. Good thing us monsters don't mind the cold. I'm not joking, insisted Hughley. The people world is gone. Come see for yourselves. Hughley led Booter and Grubble to the hatchway under his favorite people bed. Wait a minute, said Grubble. Before I go up there, tell me exactly what's missing. Is the people house gone? No, the house is fine, said Hughley. So what's the problem, asked Grubble. Shh, Hughley whispered. Don't wake the people child on the bed. We don't want to get caught. They tiptoed across the room to the window. There is the problem, said Hughley. The people world outside is gone. Looking through the window, all they could see was white. I need a closer look. Booter whispered, can we get outside? Follow me, said Hughley. Hughley led them downstairs to a doorway that was cluttered with people things. This is the way out, he said. He pulled open the door and ran whoomp, right into a wall of white stuff. What is this? asked Hughley. I don't know said Booter. Not much flavor, said Grubble. Hey, I can see the sky outside, said Hughley. He scrambled over the pile of white powder. Booter and Grubble followed. Yippee, cried Hughley. The people world is still here. It's just covered up with all this stuff. He scooped up a handful and began patting it and shaping it. Look what I can make this into. A ba wrap. Something smacked him in the back. Into a ball? Asked Grubble, laughing. Is that what you were going to say? And then whap. Something hit Grubble. Yeah, said Booter. That's what he was going to say. Suddenly, Hughley, Booter, and Grumble were all making white balls as fast as they could. They chased each other around the backyard, throwing and decking and laughing. After a while, they collapsed into the white stuff, out of breath and giggling. After a moment, Booter stood up. Look what I made, she said. And look at this, said Hughley. The white stuff is great for making things. They quickly went to work making bigger and bigger shapes. Uh-oh, the sky is starting to get light, said Booter. The people will be waking soon, said Hughley. We need to get back under the bed. They looked around at the white stuff and felt sad that they had to leave. Why don't we take some back with us, said Hughley. But monsters aren't supposed to take people things, Booter reminded them. Hughley looked up. This stuff is falling from the sky, he said. 
I think it's free for everybody, even monsters. I agree, said Grumble. Okay, said Booter. We'd better hurry. So they rolled up a ball so big that it took all three of them to carry. Through the house, up the stairs, and into the bedroom they ran. Carefully, without a sound, they pushed the ball under the bed. Once, the monster, once in the monster world, they raced away to the secret slime pit. Gobble, cried Hughley. What did you do with all the white stuff? I didn't do anything with it, said Gobble. Oh, yeah, said Hughley. Well, now there isn't enough left to have any fun. You're wrong, said Grumble, and he hit Hughley with the white ball. See, that was fun, he said. No fair, Hughley complained. I can't get you back because I don't have anything to throw. Don't fight, you two, said Booter. Let's just go get some more. Quickly, they returned to the back door. Booter and Grumble scooped up another big ball. Wait, said Hughley. Maybe we won't lose so much if we carry it back in these boxes. Now you're thinking, said Booter. Working as fast as they could, Hughley, Booter, and Grumble carried load after load of the white stuff down to their secret slime pit. They worked until the people mother came into the bedroom. Guess what, sleepyhead, she said. It's been snowing all night. There's no school today. The people child leapt out of bed. Hooray, he shouted. It's a snow day. He dressed as fast as he could and raced down the stairs, pausing just long enough to put on his coat and boots. He threw open the back door and... He couldn't believe his eyes. There was no snow. Down in the secret slime pit, the monsters were having fun. I wonder, said Hughley, just as we were closing the hatchway under the bed, I heard the people child say something about a snow day. What do you think he was talking about? Maybe this white stuff is called snow, said Booter. Then that makes this a snowball, said Hughley, and he clobbered Grumble with it. Got you back. All at once, the secret slime pit was filled with flying snowballs. I hope you boys and girls enjoyed Hughley's snow day. So my discussion question for you and your family is, what is your favorite snow activity and why? So you can only pick one to be your favorite. Which one is it and why is that your favorite? Have everyone in your family share their favorites at snow activities. Bye boys and girls and until next time, take care.